Imagine spending seven years of your life working on a problem, day in, day out, pushing yourself to the limit. Then one day, you finally solve it. But instead of celebrating, you realize something strange. You've made a mistake. You failed. That's exactly what happened to Andrew Wiles when he solved one of the most famous, mysterious math problems in the world. And what's even more incredible is that he didn't give up. He kept going until he got it right. And in doing so, he changed the world of mathematics forever. This is the story of a man who took on a problem that had stumped mathematicians for centuries. A problem so famous that for hundreds of years, many people believed it was unsolvable. But Andrew Wiles proved them wrong. And today, we're going to talk about how he did it. If you've ever wondered about the power of determination, the thrill of discovery, or simply the beauty of math, then you're in the right place. This is not just the story of a brilliant mathematician. It's the story of an extraordinary journey of passion, struggle, and ultimate triumph. Stick with me until the end, and I promise you'll see math in a whole new way. So, let's dive in and see how Andrew Weil solved the world's most famous math problem. The year is 1637. A French mathematician named Pierre de Fermat writes a simple note in the margin of his copy of an ancient Greek book. It says, I have discovered a truly marvelous proof of this proposition, but this margin is too narrow to contain it. That note was about a problem known as Fermat's last theorem. It seems simple enough. There are no whole number solutions to the equation. X plus Y equals Z, X, and plus Y, and equals Z, and for any value of, and greater than 2. In other words, it's impossible to find three whole numbers that satisfy this equation if N is 3 or greater. Fermat's note left mathematicians puzzled for centuries. Why? Because while Fermat claimed to have a proof, he never shared it. And for the next 358 years, no one could figure it out. It became one of the greatest mysteries in the history of mathematics. For hundreds of years, mathematicians tried and failed to prove Fermat's last theorem. Many brilliant minds took a shot at it, but none of them succeeded. It became one of those problems that seemed so simple, yet so impossible to crack. But in the 1980s, a young mathematician named Andrew Wiles began to take a deep interest in the problem. Wiles wasn't just any mathematician. He was one of the brightest minds of his generation. But even he knew that solving Fermat's last theorem wouldn't be easy. By the time Wiles started working on it, he had already built a solid reputation in the field of mathematics. He was known for his expertise in algebraic geometry and number theory. But even with his knowledge and experience, he knew this was going to be a huge challenge. Andrew Wiles didn't just jump into the problem overnight. In fact, his interest in Fermat's last theorem goes back to when he was a child. At the age of 10, he read about the theorem for the first time in a math book, and from that moment on, he was hooked. The idea that a problem that had remained unsolved for centuries could be solved by one person fascinated him. By 1986, after years of research and planning, Wiles decided it was time to tackle the problem seriously. But he didn't just want to make a small contribution to the field. He wanted to solve Fermat's last theorem once and for all. Wiles locked himself away in his office and began working on the problem in secret. He was so determined that, for much of the next seven years, he hardly spoke to anyone about it. He didn't even tell his closest colleagues or friends. It was just him, the problem, and his notebooks filled with complex equations and calculations. In 1993, after years of hard work, Wiles made a breakthrough. He found a way to connect Fermat's last theorem to another unsolved problem in mathematics called the Taniyama-Shimura Weil conjecture. This conjecture, which had been proposed in the 1950s, suggested a link between elliptic curves and modular forms. Wiles believed that if he could prove this conjecture, he could also prove Fermat's last theorem. It was a risky move, but Wiles was confident in his approach. He spent months proving that the conjecture was true in certain cases. Then, in 1993, 
he presented his proof to the world. But there was a problem. After months of excitement and anticipation, Wiles's proof was put under scrutiny. Mathematicians began to study it carefully, looking for any weaknesses, and they found one, a small mistake in the proof. This mistake was a huge blow to Wiles. He had spent years working on this problem, and now it seemed like all of his hard work might have been for nothing. But instead of giving up, Wiles went back to work. He spent another year reworking the proof, carefully fixing the error, and in 1994, he presented the corrected proof. This time, there were no mistakes. On September 23, 1994, after centuries of failed attempts, Andrew Wiles finally solved Fermat's last theorem. The math world erupted in celebration. For mathematicians, this was the equivalent of landing on the moon. Wiles had done it. He had solved the problem that no one else could. It was a triumph of perseverance, dedication, and brilliance. But it wasn't just about the fame. For Wiles, the real reward was knowing that he had contributed something truly significant to the world of mathematics. So, why is Fermat's last theorem so important, and why does it matter today? At first glance, it might seem like just another abstract math problem. But in reality, Wiles' solution opened up new areas of research and led to deeper insights into the world of numbers. Wiles' work on Fermat's last theorem was not just a final solution to an old problem. It was a key that unlocked new doors in mathematics, leading to important discoveries in number theory, algebraic geometry, and beyond. His work inspired a new generation of mathematicians to tackle even bigger, more complex problems. But Wiles' journey wasn't just about math. It was about the human spirit. It was about how we as people face challenges that seem impossible, and how, with determination and a bit of genius, we can overcome them. Andrew Wiles' journey to solve Fermat's last theorem is a reminder that, no matter how impossible something seems, it's always worth trying. Wiles didn't just solve a math problem. He showed us the power of perseverance, the beauty of knowledge, and the importance of following your passion, even when the odds seem stacked against you. If you've enjoyed this story and want to hear more about the people who change the world with their ideas, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't miss out on our next video about the fascinating world of science, math, and discovery. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. After Wiles presented his proof to the world in 1993, the mathematical community waited in anticipation. The moment was historic, but it was only after the flaw in the proof was discovered that Wiles' work was truly scrutinized. In academic circles, this was a big deal. A failed proof would have been a massive embarrassment, but the fact that Wiles fixed the problem and came back stronger showed the world that mathematics is a process, a journey full of challenges, revisions, and perseverance. When the corrected proof was finally accepted, it sent shockwaves through the academic world. For the first time in over 350 years, Fermat's last theorem was finally proven true. It was a moment of great excitement and celebration. But what's even more remarkable is that Wiles didn't do it for fame or recognition. He did it because he believed in the problem and was driven by the desire to answer it once and for all. Wiles' triumph was also a validation of the idea that even the most difficult problems can be solved provided you have enough time, focus, and determination. This was a victory not just for Wiles, but for mathematicians everywhere. Wiles' solution to Fermat's last theorem didn't just end a centuries-old mystery. It also had a profound impact on the field of mathematics. His work opened up new avenues of research and led to significant advances in number theory and algebraic geometry. The techniques Wiles used to prove the Taniyama-Shimura Weil conjecture influenced the development of modern mathematics, and his ideas continue to inspire mathematicians to this day. Fermat's last theorem was just the tip of the iceberg. The methods Wiles used have since been applied to other areas of mathematics, leading to new breakthroughs. For example, his work contributed to the study of Galois representations and the development of modular forms which are crucial in understanding the properties of prime numbers and the behavior of certain algebraic structures. Mathematics has always been a highly interconnected field. 
Wiles's work demonstrated this beautifully. His solution to Fermat's last theorem didn't just settle an old debate. It opened up entirely new areas of research that continue to shape the future of mathematics. While Wiles's mathematical accomplishments are monumental, it's the human story behind them that makes his legacy so inspiring. Wiles was not just a genius locked in a room with numbers. He was a person with a dream, driven by a passion that sustained him through years of hardship. His perseverance in the face of failure and his refusal to give up even after making a mistake are qualities that we can all admire. Wiles's legacy extends beyond the world of mathematics. He showed us that even the most challenging problems, no matter how impossible they may seem, can be solved through hard work, patience, and determination. His story is a reminder that success is not always immediate and that the journey is just as important as the destination. In the end, Andrew Wiles didn't just solve a mathematical puzzle. He proved that with persistence and passion, we can overcome even the most daunting challenges. Andrew Wiles' journey to solve Fermat's last theorem is one of the greatest stories of perseverance in modern history. His determination, intellect, and unwavering commitment to solving a centuries-old puzzle have inspired countless people, not just mathematicians, but anyone who has ever faced a difficult challenge. His work reminds us that great achievements don't come easily, and often the most important breakthroughs require years of effort, dedication, and even failure. But the reward is worth it, Wiles proved that the impossible can become possible. If you've enjoyed learning about Andrew Wiles' incredible journey and want to explore more inspiring stories from the world of science, math, and discovery, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's so much more to discover, and I'd love for you to join us on this journey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.